what's going on, y'all? We back with another game review, and this time we are doing Green Hell. Green Hell is an open-world survival game that was released in 2019 that drops you off in the Amazonian rainforest with limited resources and no real modern gear or tools. The game is currently available on PlayStation, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. It's similar to one of the games that we've already reviewed called Alone Dark. If you haven't checked that one out already, check it out after this one. But this takes place in a complete opposite environment. This is definitely one of the more challenging survival games that I've ever played. In most survival games, hunger and hydration play a huge role in standing alive. But here it's a lot more nuanced and detail than that. You have to make sure that you have a well-balanced diet. You have to manage between proteins, carbs, fat, and hydration. There are many different ways that you can collect that food though in order to sustain yourself. You can hunt, scavenge, fish, or even grow a garden. To get protein, you're going to have to hunt and get meat from different animals. To get fats, you can find those from nuts or even from the foods that you cook, some of the different meats. You can also get carbs from bananas or some of the mushrooms that are found throughout the game. And these are just a few different ways that you can get some of the different types of nutrients. Early game, there's some primitive tools and weapons that you can craft that will help you out. There are things like a stone blade, a stone axe, a weak spear, and a bow. As you advance though, you can collect and make better tools. Examples of these would be things like a bone spear as opposed to the weak spear or a machete. You can also make a fishing pole. You can also use a forge to make metal so you can make different type of tools and weapons from that. Another thing that you're going to have to pay attention to is your character's health and energy levels. When the sun starts to set, you're going to have to make sure that you have a place to sleep for the night because once it gets dark, it's going to be hard to be able to get anything accomplished or crafted or built. The only way you can possibly do this is if you have a torch. But don't forget that it is the rainforest. So it can rain at any time and that torch will not work. The environment is also very beautiful and deeply layered, but can be very dangerous. There are many different things that can take you out in the rainforest. It's dangerous to just walk around. You might run into a tribesman that don't like outside people, or you might have to look around for a snake, a spider, anthills, or animals like pumas or alligators. It only takes one bite or scratch, and that can be dangerous enough to end your game. The scratch can get infected, or the bite can be venomous. There are a couple different game modes that you can play. There's the story mode, survival mode, the spirits of the Amazonia, challenges, and multiplayer. In the story mode, you play a doctor named Jake Higgins that travels to a remote location in the rainforest with his wife Mia. At one point, him and Mia separate to go on their different missions. She calls him one night, crying, saying that she needs him. So he gets up as fast as he can to go and look for her. As he's running around, he falls and bumps his head. The rest of the story is him remembering different events from the past and discovering why he's really there. It's pretty interesting with some decent plot twists and points. Survival will be the game mode that I would say I put the most hours in. And it's pretty much just you trying to survive the different elements and learn how to live and survive in the jungle and build yourself a home there. Spirits of the Amazonia it's pretty much a prequel story with Jake on a mission in the jungle by himself. It's essentially another story mode with different missions. One of the main differences though, is it is a little less linear and it gives you a little more freedom to be able to explore different areas of the jungle. It's a nice combination between the story mode and the survival mode. Currently there are seven different challenges that are available to you. They all range in difficulty and all have a time limit. Some of the challenges are things like building a huge camp to survive in the jungle or collecting a bunch of meat from different animals. The last game mode is multiplayer. 
I think the multiplayer is cool, but honestly, it could probably be a little bit better. It's mainly just survival mode, but with friends or other people that can help you build, craft, and gather different supplies. Overall, I would say this is a pretty good survival game that would definitely keep you challenged. If you're looking for a game in this genre that's a little more difficult than the others, this would definitely be one of my recommendations. This is a game that I have yet to complete, and I'm going to put in more hours in and continue to play it. Now, with all that being said, I'm going to give this game a rating of 7 out of 10. If you like this review or want to see what we have coming up, please like this video or subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below to let us know what you want to see us do next. All right, until next time, peace.